try to put the mannequin to bed. Um, it's not complete. I still got to detail it a little bit with the scissors, but um, that's um, so. Oh, I want my short hair. Somebody asked me how do I check for balance. I can't remember who asked that question. Uh, but I did nothing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so if I look directly, well, I'm looking behind, but you guys are in front. If you look in front, you kind of see it's kind of a smooth transition on the sides. Mm -hmm. So that's how I check for balance. If anything was kind of sticking out like, like that, mm -hmm. you know, you know that you have to kind of go back in and adjust it a little bit. Um, one of the other things I wanted to point out, I apologize that I didn't do this earlier. I didn't realize or pay attention to the length of the mannequin heads that you guys were working on. So what I'm doing up here, you guys kind of went and tried to do it, which was good. I applied the attempts. I saw a lot of good jobs. Um, but I just forgot to tell you guys, um, just like when you're doing a long layered haircut or a bob or whatever, you got to block the hair accordingly. And based on the length of the mannequin heads that I'm seeing, I should have asked you guys to um, section the hair in the same way how I've kind of created my line of demarcation, comb everything up into one, and then clip it, clip it so that you can see the area that you want to cut and the area that you want to remain. So my apologies for those who didn't get a chance to do that the first time around, I'm going to ask for you to do that the second time around. And you want to pay attention to the exhibitable area right here and you don't want to go too high if you do go a little bit higher we can still work with it it's just going to kind of change the the overall look of the haircut right so um like i said i've i've completed this side i will go over and kind of detail it a bit i don't feel like it's as smooth as i would like it you can see a little bit of a weight line right here so i want to take that out and try to get it as smooth as possible so, I'm going to do the same thing I did on this side, on this side for you guys, and uh, bring Johnny to life a little bit. <laughs> what guard Cute. did they only change? Oh, yeah, the guard. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, it's funny, when you do this all the time, you don't realize how many little steps you, have, down, yeah. you, you miss. Um, okay, I'm not touching the length on the top, so for this specific mannequin that I'm working on, I am going to kind of work my way from the top down. The best way I can explain this is if you have 10 steps and you want to get to the bottom, you're not going to just jump. You're going to go 9, 8, 7, so you're going to go all the way until you get to the last step. So that's kind of the same type of analogy that I would use for um, the blending technique that I'm going to do. So based on the length of this mannequin's head, I'm going to start with four, and then I'm going to do three, and then I'm going to do two, and then I'm going to do the one and a half until I get a result like this, where you're not seeing any line of demarcation anywhere. That's the goal. So I'm working with my adjustable clipper. This is the one that I use to remove the uh, line. And remember the first one that I use? Let's see who's paying attention. What do I use this one for? So this one is like, now I'm going to try to add a little bit of detail to the cut. So this would have been like, this would have been like the sledgehammer, you know, trying to just do the most get rid of the most at one time and this would be like the chisel all right so that's a number two guard this is a number four, four. Guard. Oh. so like i said i'm gonna work my way down four three two one until i get to where i want so i want you guys to have uh some time to do this so i'm going to move a little bit fast so you don't have to mimic what i'm doing here but. Uh -huh. This is just so that I can get to where I need to be. Quickly. Watch how he's using his comb too. Yeah, every time I comb the comb down, I'm, I'm removing the excess hair that I cut when I went like this. And then I'm also combing the hair back into position so that I can get an even haircut when I attempt to cut it again. So it's, after a while it, it's just very fluent.
You still scooping or you're just going straight now? I'm still scooping because if I don't, I will take the haircut too um, narrow at the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And I don't want to do that. I want to have that smooth transition. So I'm mimicking that graduation on the mm -hmm. side here to try to get it over here. Go ahead. Now, um, I have a question. With clippers, overheating, uh -huh. is, 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 could that be an issue with more, some clippers compared to others? Uh, yeah, some clippers do overheat more. Sometimes it's just how long the clipper is on. Mm -hmm. um, at the shop, I do a lot of designs, hair tattooing, mm -hmm. and I use this one, and I use this one to do it. I have two different ones that I use and they, they each give me a different result. And I find this one tends to heat up quickly. Um, quickly for me might not be quickly for you, right? But I mean, sometimes it's very common for barbers that do a lot of designs to have maybe two of these mm -hmm. because it gets hot. Mm -hmm. It does get hot. Is that like a C outline or thing? Like yes. Okay. Now when it gets too hot, is is that a sign of shutting it off, letting it rest? If it gets too hot, um, or the, lubricating it, or mm -hmm. this clipper blade coolant, it lubricates it and it cools it down as well. But it's not like it's not going to significantly reduce the temperature. The best thing is to put it down and then maybe use another another one if it gets <laughs> that hot. Mm -hmm. And it, and it's also based on the client. Kind will tell you if it's hot. Mm -hmm. Right? They'll let you know, like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> and then your answer is not, oh, that's okay, that's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kind of going to the left of the bird? Are you going straight up? I'm going in the direction the hair is growing in. Okay. So I'm cutting against the grain. And I'm paying attention to the direction of the grain to get it even. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the way how the mannequin's head is designed is yeah. they're all kind of yeah. going hard, in little yeah. directions. I don't think they intended us to take it down this short. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's still fine. Okay. So, we're going to walk across for a second. Okay. Just as he's working, I'll just show you. See as these cups are getting cooler? Oh. Oh. See, this is the purple one. Oh, ah, nice. They get a lot more. And they say our Gaz logo on them. It has yeah. a Gaz logo on them. Yeah. Yeah. Even here are green. Oh. So when they go in the freezer, they get really like vibrant colored, but they're just, because of the cool breeze, they're starting to cool off of it. And the volunteers, they get one each, eh? <laughs> uh, I just put the cord in your mouth, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's when the real test comes. When you guys are out of school and Celeste is not right there to ask all the I know, questions. like, ah! <laughs> you know, yeah. He still call me like David does. He still oh. has to touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, can That's, we do that? Because yeah. I was thinking about it. I want people to do that. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Because I don't know where they Celeste, are. Celeste, I caught really bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> So now I'm on three. Okay. I don't know if anybody saw the, the change. Yeah. I took the other clip off and now I'm on three. Yeah, four so the next one I'm going to use is two. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just want to get it down a certain level. So are you not cutting an eye now? Or? Mm -hmm. Like, are you... So are you not cutting as high up on the head now? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to go all the way up because I want to retain the length at the top and I'm trying to create a certain look. If I take the clippers and I go... Sorry? Because otherwise you could have started with that, right? I could have started with... Um, like I said, 
this is my approach. Everybody could kind of approach it a little bit different. I've seen barbers do it differently and get amazing results. Mm -hmm. um, but the workshop, the, the, the plan is for you guys to be able to understand the haircut and mm -hmm. be able to do it when I'm not around anymore. Aww. Right? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Is like, do you, with each one, do you take it like a little lower? Yeah, that's, that's what I have been doing. So I started with four, and I'm on three now. The next one's going to be two, and then I'm going to eventually get to the clip that I started the sides on, right? Created the demarcation, and that's when I'm, I'm Blend completely it. removing the line. Yeah. Blending different, like, with different hair textures? Like, is it hard to blend certain people, or...? Um, yes. I would say yes. Yeah? Yeah, um, when I first started cutting hair, the person that I, I started, uh, cutting on, he had really, 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 really coarse Afro-Canadian hair. Mm -hmm. Um, but he allowed me to do anything. I could write any name. Wow, any awesome. So I, I gained my skills learning on very difficult texture hair. So when I started to do anything else, it was like easy. It was like running with weights on your feet and then you take your weights off and it's oh, like, yeah. wow. You know? um, very, very fine hair. It's very unforgiving if you make a mistake. You'll see that patch or chunk removed. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of harder to correct. Mm -hmm. So very, very fine here. You'd want to make sure you're taking your time. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, overall, there is a, a difference in, like, I mean, you're still going to use all the same tools. You're still going to yeah. use all the same techniques. It's just you're going to be a little bit, you're going to pay a little bit more closer attention because, like, for somebody with coarse here, I might do this once, just that one movement once. And... It'll be fine, but somebody who has very, very fine hair, if I do that once and go too far, I can like really change the whole haircut, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to be careful. All right, so in the midst of talking, I've switched from three to two. And where are you using the two? I'm using the two to remove the uh, line of demarcation that was on this side. He's blending. It's, it's uh, not fully gone. But um, it's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want to tell them about that little thing on the side. Mm -hmm. He did, but okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it Sorry. again. I did it's okay. Sorry. Um. This clipper has an adjustable lever, and the clip that I have on right now is a number two. A true number two is with the lever all the way up, because this is cutting as close as it can possibly cut. Mm -hmm. So when I add the number two clip, I know that it's a true two. If I want it to be like two and a half, I press it down. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it creates a little bit more length on the top. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little bit longer in length, but it's um, it's not that noticeable. Like you can't really look at somebody and say, oh, that's two and a half, or that's yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of know by like when you're working on it and the areas that you're trying to blend or correct. Okay. You guys are asking good questions. I see you guys are paying attention. I want to be good at everything. Yeah, me too. You can be good at everything. Because if I'm blow drying and... <laughs> I'm telling you, you can do it. So for all, us, for all the ladies that have boy kids now, they're going to be using their boy kids as practice. Yeah, yeah, why not? Are there DVDs we can buy? That you have to do I'm that? working on the DVD. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a series of how to, <laughs> how to uh, DVDs, and um, actually one of my clients just finished photography school, so we have this little arrangement where he's going to help me with my portfolio and 
the models that I'm that he'll be taking pictures of, he I'm just allowing him to use it for his for his portfolio so that uh, I don't have to pay anything. He doesn't have to pay anything. So, you know, it kind of it kind of works out. Yeah, it kind of works out. So I did one video so far at the salon. Mm -hmm. It was um, I kind of like to to capture the 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 real live feel of uh, winning a client. I say winning a client because sometimes I'll approach men or women and they're not necessarily sure of what I can do. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of, you know, mm -hmm. so I like to get that reaction on video mm -hmm. and then get the finish where they're like, oh my God, <laughs> I've never felt my hair this soft before. You know, or, <laughs> like, you know, I like to get that reaction. It's, uh, it's like a before and after yeah, video. It's, it's, it's really rewarding. <laughs> nice. I, I was uh, doing a home renovation one time and the contractor said to me, oh, you know, um, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I got an appointment. So I was like, okay, fine. No problem. Take the day off, whatever. We'll see you the following day. So he comes the following day, and I realize he went to go and get a haircut. And I was a little ticked off, to be honest, because oh. I'm like, okay, you see what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and you didn't think that I can cut your hair because his hair texture was different than mine. So he wasn't that sure if I knew how to work on his hair. So I was a little bit upset. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, fine, I'll give you a shot at it next time. And I told him that I only need one shot, just one shot, and I can guarantee I win. So I cut his hair, and um, he went home, and he called me back, and he's like, Dave, my wife said this is the best haircut I ever got in my life. <laughs> he has never gone back to his old barber since. Oh, my so, goodness. So it's... Uh, it's rewarding, like I said, and I kind of like to do that. I kind of like to catch people off guard like that, because sometimes, you know, we tend to look at people and question their abilities without always giving them a shot sometimes, yeah, you know? True, true. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'm using the four because I'm just going back and... Um, Cleaning up. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm not necessarily 100% pleased with the, the top part of the blending, so I am not committing the clipper like this against the scalp. If I do that, he's going to have a whole new haircut. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of going to where I'm seeing like a little bit of a weight line, mm -hmm. and I'm just gradually guiding my clipper, and then once I get to that weight line, I kind of start to elevate upwards because... I just want to remove a little bit, not too much, because too much will create a whole new haircut. I feel like you're marking me. Are you marking me? No, no. Just say they don't. Remember when we had the, the presentation? I remember. Actually, did you notice I was playing your presentation? Uh, the CD, you still have that? Oh my God. Wow. You didn't hear it, did you? I, I heard I heard something, but I didn't yeah. think it was mine. Yeah, well. I was like, okay, these guys know these songs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it on again when they go back from here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you still have that. I, um, I also DJ. Oh, wow. So, 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 You're like, Jack, I'll play you, man. Yeah, I, do a, I do a few things. I do a few things. Wow. Uh, good I for you. <laughs> I do a few things, and I um I was doing a an old school party, a '90s hip hop and R&B party, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, for the presentation, I'm gonna the 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 haircut I was doing was a fade, and the fade kind of originated, I would say like early '80s, late '80s, so I wanted to go back into the era of like Fresh Prince and. Mm -hmm. You know Martin Lawrence and you know those type of haircuts that you'd see on TV all the time, and it was it was fun. When he did his presentation, he had some music in the going in the background. Awesome! Really yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like um, runaway show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I want to be. Ah, oh, runaway! Wow. I want to be a platform artist. I kind of want to do so many different things. It's yeah. Crazy. The sky's the limit. Though. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it all one day. Good for you. Yeah. Okay, my haircut is pretty much completed.
Okay, so it's pretty much completed. All I have to do is kind of go over the top with uh, scissors. And I will give you guys yeah, awesome. just a little bit of the scissor and comb technique because I kind of like to finish off with that as well. Sorry? You changed the comb. The comb? Oh, sorry. The cut? The clip. Yeah, the guard. Yeah, I was changing the guards to guard. just okay. clean up um, the level there on the side because I wasn't 100% satisfied. So now I'm at the point where I can... Now I'm at the point where I can um, start with or finish what I started with. And this is just a... This is one and a half, yeah. This is what I started with, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, the purpose of this is to remove that line of demarcation fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you guys feeling like you can do this? No. Uh -huh. Yes. No. No. Why? <laughs> no. Why? I want to do this. Confusing. It looks so fun. I'm going to tell you, when I first started to cut hair, I couldn't visualize the end result. And it was kind of hard for me. So I would start and kind of be unsure about what the haircut's going to look like at the end. And now I'm at a level where it doesn't matter how you look when you sit in the chair, I will know how you're going to look when you're leaving. Mm -hmm. And for the woman's side of things, I'm, I'm kind of Obviously. there now. You know, I'm kind of there now. Where before I'd be like, okay, well, I don't necessarily know how this color is going to turn out or I don't know how this yeah. cut's going to turn out. But now, because, you know, the more you do it, yeah. um, the more comfortable you become. So I, I would say that I'm kind of there now with the woman else. Okay, so the haircut's pretty much finished now. Um, in terms of the sides, I'm going to detail the top. And that'll be it. I want you guys to have time to go back and try this. You have to have an idea of what length you want the top end. Mm -hmm. Everything I've done up here is based on the length of the top of this mannequin's hair. Mm -hmm. So if you want to mimic the same thing, you're going to have to bring the top to Shut this level up. so that you can um, so that you can uh, get the same result. Is that one with the uh, rotating thumb? Yeah. You like that? Love it. Do you want to borrow some, like, not good shears? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? The ones that came that in your kit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with those, though. Do you still use those? Yeah, it's I still use mine. Wow. There's nothing wrong with them. I upgraded because of the, the deal. Five and, a five and a half. Yeah. I upgraded because of the, the deal. These are, these were $400, mm -hmm. but I didn't pay that. Yeah. I know, I've got it. I didn't pay that. Like a, I paid like one sixty. Wow! 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 That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I got it. Yeah. Yeah. You can maneuver that. Yeah. But the one that you have, you don't kit is not that bad. My husband saw. I it said it's not horrible. Yeah. It's not decent. Yeah. It's yeah. Decent. Well, they got to do it in a way where it's you can kind of get as many pieces as possible. If they gave this to you in your kit. You'd have scissors and a blow dryer, and that's it. Right? I know, I and know. You, you, you. And uh, no fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better cut through your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> newbie, like... Okay, so what I'm doing now is scissor over the comb technique, and I'm just combing the hair in the direction the hair grows. And I'm holding the comb on, you know, directly parallel to the scalp. And I don't want to go like into the scalp like that, because then I'd cut off all of that, and you'd have like a big chunk of hair missing. He'd be mad. He wouldn't come back again. You know, and you don't want that to happen. So I am holding it parallel to the scalp. I'm just going straight up, just to clean up some of the edges around. 
So I don't know if anybody's tried that technique. Um, it's kind of advanced because if you go too far in, it's you, you know you're gonna be like, well, what happened right there? My son had stairs, stairs in his head. Don't believe me. <laughs> yeah, it'll look like stairs yeah. basically. And the other thing, when, when you're doing scissor over comb, if you watch David, when he's doing it, the comb and the shears both they move. move together. As soon as the comb stops moving, the shears should stop. Because the second you, the second you stop um, the comb and continue with your shears, you create a line. So you have to keep it moving. Just like the clippers always move, yeah, yeah. Right? you got to do the same thing. Okay. I did it on my son as a stitch because I must. Because you stopped. I stopped, yeah. <laughs> so I look directly at the symmetry on each side. I'm pleased with it. I don't see a line of demarcation. So I will dust this client off. The the, yeah, it looks yeah. like Dustin Bieber. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I like to add a finishing product when I'm, when I'm finished working on the you client. Want me to give you sure. Yeah. sure. 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 Can you do design now? Can you do tattoos? Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I want to do design. <laughs> but not on um. On my, on my high. Harry. No, on his. On Harry. I like her too. Oh my head. Harry tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Every year I come, they want me to do this. <laughs> yeah, me too. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Put Senna's name on one side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, That's hot. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Are you guys willing to stay a little bit later? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm paying attention to everybody who tries to leave here at exactly like... No, yeah. no, no, I have a doctor appointment. I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, what I would like... One bed. What I would like is um, for everybody to get back on their mannequins, do this next step, and then... I don't know. I've asked David to come for a certain amount of time. If he's willing to do it, and I'm not gonna, uh, it's not gonna be like, um, you know, jo Janelle comes up here and gets her hair done, and everybody else scoots away. This is supposed to be for <laughs> demo purposes. I don't know how you yeah. feel about it, if you have somewhere to go. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. Ooh. So, it, but I expect people to stay back and watch because we're doing yeah. it for demo purposes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. yeah. <laughs> and it's wow. better when you do oh, it. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Because this one is almost like perfect. It's the line is hard yeah. to do yeah. on a mannequin, but it's good for practice mm -hmm. purposes. Yeah. Um, for those of us who yeah. have like a fairly long mannequin, how uh, is that going to work? So if you don't end up in some like wildly interesting... Alright, so for those of you guys who have a fairly yeah. fairly long yeah. length on the top of the mannequin, <laughs> you need to make a decision right now and decide how much of that length you would like to cut off. And then just do like a 90? Um, yeah, you can do a 90, yeah, absolutely. And then you would blend the sides to the top. So will you have enough time to do it right now? I'm not sure. But that's what you uh that's what you're aiming for right yeah. so what time is it quarter to 12 okay so quarter, quarter to 12 quarter. Wow. so if we give them 45 minutes yeah. and yeah. then we'll call you back at 12:30 okay